half day white water. Let's give them a call. Oh uh, yes, we were looking to do um, some white water rafting today. Okay. Um, we were looking kind of looking at the 11 a.m. Uh, 11 a.m. So that's going to check in at 10:30. Okay. And you guys will need shoes that will strap or tie to your feet. No flip flops or Crocs. Okay. So I'm going to email you a confirmation. If you guys have a chance, there's a link to fill up the waivers online. Okay. And um, we're just having everyone wear face coverings in the offices and on the shuttles. Okay. And did you have any other questions? I don't think so. All right. You will see you soon. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Alright, good job, Slim. One to go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It's now Monday, and it's the Monday after the weekend of the 4th of July. We thought by Monday, hopefully a lot of the crowds are going to clear out. Uncle Jerry and I wanted to go rafting. Uh, wanted to go whitewater rafting while we're here. Because every time we go out driving, we see there's always people in rafts, you know, and we're like, man, we want to do that. So we called the Glacier Raft Company and we set up an appointment for 11 o'clock to go whitewater rafting. If they offer a video service I'll definitely take it and then give them credit whatever and then put it in this video but if they don't offer that then Jerry and I will tell you all about it when we get back. So we're getting everything ready and we're gonna leave here and just few minutes later well we just got out of the rafting trip I'm completely drenched well because you jumped in the water twice is probably why I might have a little something to do with it. <laughs> she was like hey you want to get out anybody want to get out and go for a swim and there was two spots where the water was pretty calm and it and that's when everybody went overboard and took a dip. me and two me and two boys did me and two young kids did yeah and uh, I told the one that came, well, we'll talk about it later and tell you all that happened. We'll show some pictures and stuff. Sound good? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now back at the campsite here at the Sundance Campground. Dry clothes on? Yes. And we just got back, of course, from the rafting. And I bought the package with the uh, pictures. They didn't take any videos, but we did get some pictures. So I'll be sure and display those while we talk about it. Yes. It was an eight mile rafting trip. It lasted right around two hours. And there were, uh, how many rapids? Six or eight, something like that? Yeah, I think so. And it was, it was pretty good. It wasn't as gnarly as I thought it would be, but it was still fun, good. And it was, um, of course it was beautiful out in the mountains. Yes, the water was a pretty, emerald green color and they said that she said that was due to the minerals the minerals in the glacier in the glaciers mm -hmm. and that was glacier melt yep yep that was all glacier melt yep and there was a flood that happened in 1964 in that area mm -hmm. and before that that um that river that we were on wasn't actually considered a rapids they river. called it a lazy river that's right but the flood of 64 came through and knocked all the boulders off into the middle of the stream or into the middle of the river so created some rapids yes and pinball rapids was one washboard rapids was another jaws somebody jaws jaws i think just jaws, jaws. and then uh bone breaker bone yeah bone breaker and they said it got its name because someone um took accidentally let go of the end of their paddle and whacked somebody in the teeth with it or in the nose yeah and broke, broke their nose broke their nose and we didn't we really i didn't see any fish or wildlife we we did hear what was that one animal we heard it was a beaver shark a beaver shark yeah, yeah which i that's a new species to me yeah but. the <laughs> The tour guide said it's a mixture between a beaver and a shark. Yeah. 
But it's more shark because it's in the water. And what she did was, and our guide was Kendra. Yes. And I think she was. I think she was the head guide of the. Three. She was the head. We had three boats with us. Well, the mother hen. Is that yeah. what she called herself? Yeah. <laughs> and underneath one of the, well, the old bridge. Is yeah. that a footbridge or a? It was, it's now a footbridge, but it used to be a driving okay, okay. bridge back in the. Well, it 50s. survived the flood of '64, and when we got underneath it, she she was in back of us. We're all looking forward, and she slaps her paddle on the water. Yeah. And it made this hideous cracking, uh, more than a cracking, it was like a thunder, right? <laughs> and I guess of, it just echoed. Yeah, it echoed. I thought the bridge was falling down. <laughs> and then she said it was a beaver shark. So. And there was two places that uh, I guess it was it was rather calm and safe. And, and she said, okay, if anybody wants to swim, this is where you do it. Yeah. And there, there was two young boys. Like um, eight and ten. Yeah. Like yeah. And then there's me, who's also a young boy. Yeah. <laughs> Those and were the three who jumped in the pool. Yeah. And I told one of the boys, I said, if you'll jump in, I'll jump in. And they said, okay. So we jumped in. All, all three of us did. It was, like, shockingly cold. You get in there, and it's, like, tense up, and I had a hard time breathing, really, at first. <laughs> But then when I get back in there, see the dad of the two boys and the mom, but the dad and me were the two front people on the raft, and we took the brunt of the uh, waves, whenever, <laughs> unless we went in backwards and then the boys got it. But after I took a dip in the pool, or in the, uh, after I took a dip in the river, came back up, experienced the waves, it wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> yeah, you're already freezing probably from the yeah, water temperature yeah. but and that's another reason why I went ahead and jumped in because I thought you know might as well because right. I'm already drenched <laughs> yeah yeah but it, it was a uh, it was an awesome trip I wouldn't have wanted it much longer yeah it was just like the perfect amount of time it was it was a perfect amount of time perfect temperature outside yeah it was an awesome day for it yeah it really was yeah Glad we did it earlier in the day, too, as opposed to, like, right now. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you want to do next? Get some lunch? I suppose it's lunchtime. Yep. We'll get us some lunch. And tomorrow we're going to be heading out of this campsite. And we're going to head somewhere, aren't we, Gerald? We are. I wonder where that is. Well... Nothing's for sure, because yeah. we, <laughs> yeah. we just play it by ear. Yeah. We'll, we'll tell tell them. We'll tell everybody on our next blog post. Yeah. Vlog post. Yeah. We'll keep that a secret until the, until we get there. How about that? Make it a surprise. Yes. So thank you all so much for watching all these videos. And as we've alluded to, there will be more to come after this. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.